Today, I'm going to show you a game which is going to test your calculating abilities. Are you ready for it? The game we are going to look at is from the Global Chess League. With the white pieces, we have Koneru Hampi, the great Indian champion. And with the black pieces, we have Irina Krush, the first grandmaster, female player who became a grandmaster from the US. Let's join the position here. At this moment, it's white to play. And Humpy decided to push her pawn to unleash her bishop down the long diagonal. Very logical move. Irina said, let me capture the pawn. So she took it. And now it's your move. It's white to play. What do you do here as white? Pause this video and try to think because it's a critical moment. Okay, Humpy here played this beautiful move knight f6 and she found it quite, quite quickly. Now, this check is also a fork, so you have to pick up the knight. This is what Irina did. And now, Humpy went ahead and gave a check. With this check, now the king can either go here or it cannot go here because there's already a bishop. So the king can go here or the bishop can block. If the king goes to h8, bishop takes f6 check, bishop blocks and this is a checkmate. Game over. So the only move was to bring the bishop to g7. Now what do you do next? Well in order to continue the attack, you pick up this pawn and it's a mate here. Well. The calculation does not end because Irina Crush gave this check now. And at this moment, what do you play here with white? An important moment. You might think the question is about where to move the king. Should you move the king here? Should you move the king here? Or should you move the king here? Well, think about it. In the game, Humpy moved her king here. And after the queen dropped back, Later on, Irina managed to hold the game and it ended in a draw. So, what's the best move, you may ask? Is it king h1? Still, it would be queen f8, which defends for black. The right move here is the stunning move, rook e3. And you might think to yourself, what? That's a free rook. How can you play that? The point is, if you take the rook with your knight, there's no longer a check and I pick up your bishop and it's a checkmate. And if you take this with a queen and give a check, now I move my king away and now there's no way for the queen to reach back here and this is a forced checkmate. There's no way to stop it. And finally, if you move your queen back here to defend the bishop, I simply shift my rook now, putting more pressure and thereby winning the game. This move, rook e3, is something that is quite easy to miss and which was also missed by Koneru Hampi. I hope you didn't miss it and you calculated it very clearly in your head. And these are the hidden resources which help you become a stronger player. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Sagar Shah signing off.